Today we're going to be building a solar spinner, which is a solar cell attached to a motor, attached to a stand, and when we put it into the light, it'll start to spin. And so for this activity, we're going to need a plastic petri dish, our motor, our solar panel, a base, foam tape to attach the motor, copper tape to attach the wire, and scotch tape to hold everything together. And the first step is you're going to take the smaller portion that has the, the higher lid on it and you're going to use that to put your base inside of it. So we're going to take our foam tape and we're going to place it down in the center of the petri dish. And you're going to want to leave a small gap in between your two pieces of tape and then peel off the backing of the tape so that the top side of the tape is sticky again. Now we can attach our motor and you'll notice that the motor has a small bump on the back side and so that bump can go in between the two pieces of tape so that the motor sticks better to the tape. At the end you should be able to gently shake your uh, dish and your motor should still be firmly attached. So now we're going to attach the black wire to the back of our solar panel. And so you'll notice these two white pieces on the back gray side are going to be the contacts that we're going to attach to. You only have to attach to one of the contacts. So we're going to go ahead and take our copper tape And it's easiest to stick it onto the wire first, just like that, so that now you have a better, an easier time attaching the wire to the panel than if you were to try to hold the wire in place while getting the copper tape on it. And so I'm just going to go over that so that it's nice and smooth, and that ensures that the wire is attached firmly to the panel. Now we're going to go ahead and flip it over and attach it to our front side. I'm going to bring the red wire so that it's opposite of the black wire and I'll attach it to the white strip on the front of the solar panel. I'm going to do the same thing here, where I attach my tape to the copper wire first, and then line that up on the solar panel before smoothing it down. You want to be gentle because the solar panel is very easy to break. But now we should be ready to test if we've attached ours correctly. And I can feel by placing my hand on the back of the motor that it's spinning around. If you want to see this, you can also gently place it into a base and watch it spin. You don't want to let that go too fast, otherwise your solar panel can detach. So now we're going to take scotch tape and tape our petri dish together. If you have any loose wires, you can tape them to the side of the dish as well so that they don't move around. And once we have everything taped, go ahead and test your solar panel one more time to make sure that nothing broke while you were putting the cover on. And I can see that it's spinning. So the final step of this is going to be to take just a drop of hot glue and put it over the hole on the base. You don't want your motor to go all the way through, so you're just going to stick the motor on part way and allow the hot glue to dry for a couple seconds. Once 
your base is not moving, you can go ahead and put your working solar spinner under the light.